On this question, Jesse's bus ride to school is five minutes more than two-thirds the time of Robert's bus ride. And which graph shows the possible times of Jesse's and Robert's bus rides? Well, first thing, I'm going to look at my graph. And Jesse is on the y-axis. Robert is on the x-axis. So I know that Jesse is going to be my y, and Robert is going to be my x. And I know the word is means equal to, and two-thirds the time of Robert's, basically that's like two-thirds of the time is another way we could say that, and of means multiply in math. So I'm going to translate this into an equation. Jesse represents y, Robert is x. And I'm just going to write that out. So y equals, because is means equals, 5 more than. More than means we're doing addition. So 2 thirds x. So 2 thirds x plus 5, or I could say 5 plus 2 thirds x. But I want to put it in slope intercept form. So 2 thirds represents my slope. So the number in front of the variable, the x, is your slope. That's rise over run, and 5 represents my y-intercept. So answer choice B is what I'm looking at here. Answer choice B starts at 5, so that, that's the correct on the y-intercept, so I'm going to check that. And then the slope should be for 2 thirds. It means it rises 2 and runs 3. So if we go up 2, right 3, up 2, right 3, that should continue to work out. Um, so if I want to write two, I'm sorry, up to write three, um, up to from five would give us seven, um, and write three, so it would be seven comma three should be an ordered pair, and it looks like seven three is right about there. If you want to do an exact point, if I know the slope is two thirds, what's an equivalent fraction to two thirds that would fit on our graph easily. I'm thinking 20 over 30. Just multiply them both by 10, and that ratio can be written as 20 over 30. So if I go up 20, now I'm up to 25, and then over 30, so 25 comma 30, sorry, 30 comma 25 is an ordered pair that is on there. So that one just checked for my slope. So B is the correct answer. Okay, question number two says what scenario could be modeled by the graph below? And I'm going to look, just label this is my y-axis and this is my x-axis. So reading that, one thing that I notice right away is my slope is negative. And to find out what my actual slope is, I can just take two ordered pairs and, and calculate it. So it looks like 0, 5 is one of them. So that, that's going to rise and run. Let's talk about the rise and the run. The rise is down 5, so negative 5. And then the run is going to be to the right, which is positive. Two and a half. Well, I don't really like the looks of that, so I'm going to get rid of that decimal by doubling both of those values. And if I double both of them, that would give me negative 10 over 5. And I'm looking at that, and maybe I should have seen it earlier. Two and a half is half of 5, and 5 is half of 10. So really, this is going to reduce to negative 2 for our slope. So that's good to know. The other thing I need to write um, a, an equation here is going to be the y-intercept. So where does that line start on the y-axis? And that's going to be right there at up 5. So our y-intercept is 5. And Since this is shaded in below the line, I know it's less than or equal to. 
and I know my inequality is going to be written y is less than or equal to and the reason it's equal to is because it's a solid line and that would be negative 2x plus 5 so that's what we're looking for but if you look at the answer choices they're not written in y equals form so for instance in a it says y minus 2 times the number of pounds of orange is x, so y minus 2x is at most, that means less than or equal to 5. So that one's not solved for y, so if I want to solve it for y, I have to add 2x to both sides, and y would be less than or equal to 2x plus 5. Now that one doesn't match up on the slopes. That slope is a positive slope, this slope is a negative slope. So I'm going to cross off A. Now I'm going to try answer choice B. It says Y minus one half the number of, of means multiply, the number of pounds of oranges X, so one half X, is at most, that's less than or equal to five. And again I want to solve for Y, so plus one half X, plus one half X to both sides and our axis cancel. It will be y is less than or equal to 1 half x plus 5. Once again, look at your slopes. They're not matching up. That's 1 half. This is negative 2. So I'm going to cross off answer choice B. Okay, look at C. The number of pounds of apples y plus 2 times the number of pounds of orange, oranges x is at most, so less than or equal to 5. Again, I'm solving for y, so minus 2x minus 2x, and y is going to be less than or equal to negative 2x plus 5. Well, ding, 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 we have a winner because our slopes match up and our y-intercepts match up, the 5s, and our inequality is the same. So finally, we got a winner at c. So here we had to work from our answer choices kind of backwards to see one, which one matched up.